Alrighty guys, welcome back. So today we're currently back out here in the Dragster TV headquarters here taking another look at my gaming setup here and more specifically my $1,000 CyberPower PC gaming PC that I got almost nearly 19 months ago. That is crazy. And I've been making videos with it ever since I got it. Uh, here and there, a couple occasional console videos with my Xbox One S and soon I will be upgrading this setup to uh, one of those Xbox Series X's because I have enough money to get one. And, you know, it's a little bit of an investment because I do plan on making some console content on some new games dropping in November, December, things like that. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, but today, as I was going on about, we are going to be, I'm just going to be telling you guys a little bit about how this PC has held up, all the issues I've had with it. And uh, you know, and really, I'm just letting you guys know right now, there hasn't been many issues with it. Overall, very good PC for a thousand dollars, and I've only had a couple occasional issues with it, um, but very rarely. And it is just kind of out of nowhere when it does happen. And now, guys, whenever I made a video talking about how my PC just randomly up and died. I don't know why, I was making a video, I was halfway through the video, or maybe it was a little bit, uh, more than halfway through the video, and my PC, uh, was listening to music, and, because I was listening to music while I'm making my videos just in the background on very low setting, and, um, I was listening to music, and then my, my PC screen just shut off randomly. This is the first ever issue I did have with it. Besides from, you know, uh, shipping issues, I didn't really have any shipping issues, but as soon as it came in, and I put the PC up here. I only had about one or two hours of running time until the graphics card came out. So all I did was take off this panel using the two screws right there. And I just kind of just barely put my hand on it to pl uh, click it back in. And uh, then it started working again. So that was the first ever issue. And I didn't have an issue like that ever again since uh, upon a couple hours of use right after unboxing it. Uh, you know, the graphics card just kind of kind of came loose just a little bit uh, during shipping. So I just kind of went in there and clicked it in and it's been fine ever since. But the thing I was going on about, um, one of my most recent issues that has occurred a couple different times. And you guys just say it is due to a dusty or a dirty uh, gaming setup. And I actually keep up with my setup and clean out all the... Um, all my equipment here as well as my desk like i make sure i just don't want dust piling up on everything that, that is a really dirty and bad environment for a gaming setup especially a pc uh doesn't need to be ingesting all that dirt and dust so i do keep up with cleaning it that's why it was so random and i'm going to continue my story when randomly one day i was making a video and then my uh both my monitors shut off and i thought that was weird i was like oh maybe the graphics card came undone or something and uh you know Whenever the graphics card comes unplugged, unplugged or there's an issue with it, that little white light will turn red. So I looked at that and it wasn't red or anything. And my PC fans are ramping up, but as I was going on about, I was listening to music. My music was playing and then my screens went black and uh, my music paused for a second and started playing again. And the PC fans were ramping up and then they kind of just went back to normal. But I still didn't have my screens, but my music was still playing. So I just kind of went under there and unplugged my PC and plugged it back in and it started working again. Now I've had this exact same issue about seven times in total and no idea why it does it. Randomly I'll make it, be making a video. Uh, thank goodness a couple different times it was as I was right about to make a video so I didn't have to go through and like remake the video or try to salvage my uh, clips I made and whatnot. Uh, yeah, just randomly the PC fans will ramp up, my screens go black listen to music it'll cut out for a second and then turn back on and then the fans will go back to normal but i still don't have any screens uh, a couple different times whenever i turn on my pc again it'll bring up the man i'm not remembering any of my words today it would bring up that one screen that once uh you're booting up the pc you have to hit like f12 or something and then it'll come up it's just that little uh pc screen that you can enable stuff with but it's outside of windows it's just uh, with the PC itself. It's a little confusing, but yeah, it does just come up. Uh, every so often, whenever I turn on my PC, which is a little weird, then I turn it off and turn it back on and it goes away. So I really haven't 
uh, experienced too many big problems with it. But there was, when I made that video, my uh, PC, my CyberPower PC finally died. It was occurring on and off very frequently, like every day it would happen. So finally, I just made a video saying, well, I don't know what's happening to it. You guys can find out that. Go uh, watch that video and find out what I mean. Yeah, so overall, you know, I've been using it uh, consecutively. And it's been working very well for me for the last couple of weeks maybe a month or two, I'd say, you know, it's been overall working pretty good. Now, I'm also coming out here to make this video and uh, ask you guys what else I should do to the gaming setup to upgrade it. Uh, it has been a little while since I did get a new microphone sent to me from Fifine for free, and I've reviewed it, and I've been using it ever since. I don't know, it's got some pretty good audio quality, but honestly, I prefer the older one, so I might go back to that one, but this one cleans up the setup a lot, so I kind of like it, but might need to get a little bit more high quality mic maybe uh matching curved dual monitors just let me know down below in the comments how i can upgrade the setup because a good cozy setup is always something every gamer content creator wants to be able to go to just to sit down and also relax while he's making his youtube videos and this chair i got sent to me for free oh it was i'd say nearly um almost a year i'd say if not at least like 10 months so yeah, it has been a little while since I did get this chair for free. I don't know, it's still pretty comfy and I like it. Um, but there is definitely better chairs out there that I could buy with my own money. So let me know, microphone recommendations, anything you guys would like to see me upgrade the setup to. I know Xbox upgrade, I'm going to get the Series X real soon. Uh, let me know any new microphones, if I should get a new microphone. I don't know, I think it's pretty good. Um, keeping the PC, but I, sh I can get two or I can just get one of these because this is slightly curved and, you know, it's a pretty good monitor. But this one isn't. So I can just go ahead and buy another one of these. Let me know down below in the comments which guys do you think of that. So I can have dual matching monitors and they both have a slight curve to them. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, overall, really haven't had too many issues with the PC. It's been holding up for a solid almost 19 months. Um, that's pretty crazy. We're going on 19 months with this thing and... You know, this is my first ever game PC as well, and it's been, uh, I need to look back at one year ago, or 18 months ago, or 19 months ago, or something like that. I need to look back at that time frame, see how many subs I've gained since then with the new edition of PC gaming content. It, it definitely opened up my channel a lot, going from an old dusty Xbox series, it's not even an Xbox series, just an Xbox One. I thought it was an Xbox One S, but turns out it's not even an Xbox One S, even though it's white and it kind of looks like one. So I don't know what that's about, but it says like in the Xbox that it's an Xbox One and not an S. So a little weird, not too sure why. But yeah, it's just a old dusty Xbox One I've been using for a while for console content. Definitely not really a big fan of it. Uh, would definitely like to get an upgrade. Um, and since the Series X came out, you know, I might just need to get my hands on one of those. Make some more console content on that. Go back to the roots of the channel. But for now, I'm sticking to some PC content until then. But you guys can expect some more console content as soon as the arrival of the Xbox Series S is here in the new setup. So, yep, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new and down already. And with that one, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.